Hey friends, I'm Bryce and today I'm going to be showing you my horse trailer slash livestock trailer that I purchased for $800. I'm going to show you what the goats did to it, what I've already done to it, and what I need to do next to it. So here we go. trailer um, this was the hitch that was on it two inch receiver definitely an older style um, the fellow I bought it from had put a new latch on it but had actually cut the latch to make it work but in reality it didn't work um, so that was my first probably mistake when buying this trailer um, is yeah I saw the latch but I didn't really think too much of it I was more focused on making sure the floors were solid making sure I had good tires good axle and the condition of the trailer was overall decent for an $800 trailer so coming at home going downhill um, hit a couple bumps and luckily the chains were all hooked up properly my the uh, trailer came off my truck and I have a couple of memories from that. It actually came off my truck twice. Um, the first time I just thought the latch had come undone. So I used some tie wire to make sure it was latched all the way down. Uh, second time it came off my latch was actually still down and I was like okay something's not right. And at that point I was kind of blocking traffic. I had no really no place to move over off the road, so I hurried through back on the latch, pulled over down the street a little bit, and I bought tie uh, the belling wire around my truck ball and the old hitch. With that issue, I also had an issue with the handle, the jack handle, where the original going down the road came off. Um, I think the handle was already originally off when I looked at it. And there was a pin that was stuck inside the mechanism here that we ended up having to hammer out to re to make it so I can actually jack it up and down. So that was one thing I knew that was wrong with the trailer when I bought it. I knew these weren't that expensive and I kind of figured if we needed to replace it, big deal. Well after the trailer jumped off the truck at least the first time I had actually lost the original handle on the road somewhere. Um, and I have no idea where. So I ended up going and getting a new handle. After I found out what was going on with the front here, I went and got a new tongue and uh, I had a good friend come help me weld it on. Um, in addition to the new tongue on the front, I also re-welded the chains on a lot cleaner than what they had left before. I'll try to show I'll try to find some pictures. I don't think I got any video footage of the work being done on the tongue. Um, I'll try to find some pictures I took. It was kind of dark. We didn't have the best lighting as I still don't have very good lighting in this garage. The other issue I had when I picked up the trailer, which is kind of common for new trailers and trucks, um, is the original wiring did not actually re reach my truck. I found this little extension, one foot extension from one of the big box stores, I don't remember which one it was. I already had some connectors and I just spliced it in. Along this wall here, you can't really see it's behind this plate, there was a wire that was ran for the light at the bottom of the trailer here, um, which was accessible through the fence for the goats. Should have known better, should have thought of it. Granted it was white and blended in, but the goats found it being 
the animals that they are. It worked, but now it doesn't. That's why it's back in my garage. The wire runs on the inside, through here, a bunch of loose little things. Always the solar trailer. So thanks to the goats for chewing up on the side, this short section. I brought to my attention that I probably don't want my goats in a trailer for any number of time being able to access something like this. So that's the thing I'm gonna fix on this trailer right now. While we have the trailer back in the garage again, a couple things I do want to look into trying to do before we end up moving is, I think I want something that's going to keep these latches from coming off um, during travel. As we were traveling down the highway uh, this last weekend, we watched a livestock trailer in front of us swing open and it just kind of brought that to my attention. I probably want something that's going to keep that from bouncing up, with, especially, especially if we have our animals in the trailer. I do not want it opening up. And since I'm already showing the trailer, I'm going to go ahead and just give you guys an overview of what it looks like inside as well. Um, it came with the rubber mats. It's got a new plywood floor underneath that. That was done. I don't know if you can really see that at all. So it's definitely, uh, it's very rusted, but this trailer is also very old, so I'm not too disappointed. And it's going to work for what I need. The wiring runs from inside the back of the trailer down through this compartment in the front underneath and then to the tongue. Okay, so to rewire this and to get it out from where the goats can reach it, I'm going to run the wires down through the hole right there and up underneath the trailer where it should have been ran um, all the way up to the tongue. <laughs> Okay, I'm up underneath the trailer. Hopefully the audio is not too bad. I didn't turn my microphone around. Uh, but it is zip tied along this frame to the tongue. So I'm just gonna pull out the floor on both sides and run it down underneath and secure it. So underneath the trailer, I found a couple wire straps. Uh, one in the front and then one more in the back. On the axle, I tried to go underneath the wood and the axle, uh, but there wasn't a gap big enough. So what I ended up doing was just adding in a couple staples on both sides and keeping it tight right around the axle. And then on the back here, I have the original wire where it connected to the clearance light that I'm going to put a connector on and then just run the wire cross over to this hole and up through this hole. Now all I need to do is just hook the wires back up to the lights. clearance lights because I think I'm moving in the animals in the daytime and I'm not really sure how I'm going to run the wire to keep it concealed from the 
goats from nibble on them. So I'm gonna kind of ponder on that. If you guys have any ideas or thoughts that may benefit me here, let me know in the comments below. One thing I did think of that I'm not gonna worry about after all is I didn't really need to extend my cable from my tongue if I was gonna redo the whole wiring. Granted, I didn't know I was gonna be doing, redoing the whole wiring because my goats weren't supposed to chew on it to begin with. But I'm just gonna leave it as is. It's gonna work for now and that's what I need. So. On this back latch, I haven't done anything to it yet. Uh, I might just do use belling wire to tie it in. If you have any suggestions, let me know. Hey goats, coming out to say hi to them and I find a piece of wire in their corral here. A couple of wire nuts on the ground right there. And my trailer wiring for the trailer to haul them to our new home is destroyed.